Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Yeah, chime in. That'd be funny. Hi, welcome back to the show. James beat me up. He said I was being too loud, and then he called me a fucking loser, and then, uh, uh, yeah, it was really sad. Then I, then I like, bent him over, and, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> wow. I was going to say, he I was, was going to say he's going to I was going to say something really awful, but, eh. Yeah, he, he was going to just, like, bend me over, and then, uh, get a little butt wipe, and just wipe my butt for me. <laughs> like a little servant peasant. Um, so there's actually two funny little stories I wanted to share on here that have to do with RuneScape. Hell yeah! And he's saying that because I love RuneScape. Yes, you do. So does Jen. Yes. Um. Even though I'm an ultra casual player. Um, yeah, I haven't played RuneScape in... Oh, wow, I forgot. Dodongo's the... nuts! Those aren't actual ribs, are they? What? The, see those gigantic bones? Where? Look up. See? It's like a, it's like a rib cage. I mean, they're supposed spine. to be... Yeah. Are they are they like real bones or are they just rocks that are meant uh, to look like bones? It's a video game on a television, so they're not real. <laughs> it's just a representation of a. Well, there's a real. That's a real skull. An artist. Ahead, right? No, that's a video game skull. Uh, somebody drew a skull, and then now you're seeing it. You know what I fucking mean. This is not real. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, not yeah. real. The experience we're having is real, though. Okay, so. Real pitiful. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, more like your bomb placement is real pitiful. <laughs> more like my butt placement is hot. Ha 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 fucker, yeah. Ew. Okay, so, <gasps> so one, so I remember back in middle school, I gave RuneScape a try a few times. I don't usually play, it's an MMO, right? Yes. Yeah, I don't usually play MMOs. The closest thing I've ever played is like Sea of Thieves, but that doesn't it's even RuneScape. Really... Well, yeah, Sea of Thieves doesn't even really count as an MMO. Oh, you're MMO. saying the closest thing to RuneScape you've played? The closest thing to an MMO. The closest thing to an MMO you played is RuneScape. Aside, okay, an MMO. okay, aside from RuneScape. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> my bad. I was like, uh... I'm good with my words. I'm I good use with words my correctly, words. and I say them right so people know what I'm saying and don't miscommunicate. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> ah. um, oh, these fucking hotties. Oh, I remember these things. <laughs> they scared me when I was a little kid. Oh, they did? A little bit. When they come alive. Oh, right. <laughs> they're, they're cuter in Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Yeah. And so, even in the remake, they're not so spooky. So, um, when I was... Uh, let's, I'm through, I, yes. So, when I first played RuneScape, like, I played it a little bit. I mainly just dicked around. I'd never really accomplished anything. I was like, oh, I'm moving around and there's a lot of other people playing. Cool. That's kind of most people's first experience. So, here's what happened. Okay. There's, I was walking around, just minding my own business, and there's this guy standing still, and he says, Hey, anybody want some money? Anybody want to make some gold? And I was like... I already know where this story is going, 100%. So I was like, uh, I do. And he was like, okay, follow, you know, F-O-L-L-O. -L -L so I just right-clicked and I followed him. Took you into the fat wildy. What happened was, so I followed him for like what felt like 10 freaking minutes. Uh -huh. I sat there and followed him. Uh-huh. And, and I was like, are we there yet? He's like, no. It took forever. He walks, he's, we walk up to this, I don't know, this little cabin or, it, it was like a little church or oh, something. Oh, wine of Zamorak. And I, and I said, and he said, okay, you see that vase? Yep. Go and pick it up. I'm like, uh, okay. I pick it up and these priests are like. Classic, dude. These priests are like, hey, what are you doing? And they killed me. And I was like, yeah, I dude. respawned. I'm like, what the? That son of a bitch! Yeah, dude, that's what the, the fuck? The wine of Zamorak. Wine of okay, that's what it was. Yep, you picked up the wine of Zamorak, which can, which makes all of the Zamorak priest dudes come and attack you. Why? Uh, because it's like their altar, and you're stealing from it. Oh, uh, okay. Even though I wasn't stealing, technically. you were. You <laughs> go to their church and you take their fucking wine. I picked it up. I wasn't trying to steal it. Just fuckface told me to pick it up, not <laughs> I steal thought, it. I thought he was gonna take you into the wilderness and then just. Rock kill me. Shit. Yeah. Oh, can, can you steal other players' money? If you kill them. Ah, uh, okay. And then they... Well, okay. Back when you were playing, if you dropped... You could drop your gold mm -hmm. um, when you uh, died, and so then they could take it. I if see. You have, like, I don't know, 90 seconds to get back to your body or something. You probably played in, like, 2007-ish. Yeah. It's old like school that. RuneScape, basically. Yeah, dude, old school. In new school RuneScape... You have, like, a money pouch, so you can't drop your money when you die. Mm. Um, I think there might be a couple exceptions. I don't think so, though. Um, but you can lose your other shit. Uh, RuneScape 3, the current version of RuneScape, 
a lot of old school RuneScape players like hate it and shit on it. They're just like, <laughs> it's fucking easy mode. But to someone like me who just doesn't have like, you know, I have a full time fucking job. Then we record this on the weekend. Mm -hmm. I I just don't have like fucking twenty million years to. I do not want that stick. I don't have like twenty million years to fucking grind out an old school RuneScape and like. I mean, oh, royal goofs is like a a, a big important thing to do on the weekend. No, oh, you take it seriously like I do. Hmm, you sweetheart. Yeah, I do. And then, uh... Sorry, I just had to share that. No, I, I was just trying to make a joke, and then I couldn't think of one. <laughs> yeah, Fair dude. Game. And, uh... Yeah, fuck. So, I think, personally, uh, I like RuneScape 3 way better. Mm. Uh, like, RuneScape 07 is really cool because it's nostalgic, and, you know, you have to really work hard to get all your shit, and, um, you, you feel, like, really good when you accomplish things. But I get that feeling in RuneScape 3 as well. People also bitch about RuneScape 3 because you can uh, buy your shit with real money, right? Uh, oh, microtransactions. Yeah, there are microtransactions. Oh, so you can, like, buy tokens, which then you can get a random thing with the tokens. And then if you pay, like, 100 bucks, you can get a bunch of random shit. And chances are you're going to get, like, you know, a bunch of shit that's going to level you up super fast and a bunch of money. and mm, So you okay. can essentially buy your skills. But to me, like... I just don't care. Like, to me, RuneScape is, like, a personal thing. So if you want to do that, go for it. If you also want to, like, not do that and work really hard and get all your shit, uh, you know, by grinding and doing all that, that too, that's great as well. There's like, more than one way to play. Exactly. There's no one way. That's what I don't understand. People are like, RuneScape 3 is easy. It's like, okay, I mean, it's no fucking walk in the park either. Like, it's still grindy as fuck. Even RuneScape 3... Uh, getting a level 99 is like leveling i don't know six classes to 110 in world warcraft maybe even more like it takes fucking forever wow. but so I, I don't get why people bitch about it like uh to each their own i don't bitch about old school runescape i think old school runescape is fucking sweet yeah i don't know some people i i guess i i think maybe the idea like that you can just buy with real world money some things i think that ticks some people off because it's like oh what if you're like a, a rich kid with rich parents then you're just you don't that takes no effort i i think yeah. you're right i think a lot of the hate is like i don't know if this is true or not my guess though is like uh people are like wow i worked really hard to get all my skills 99 it took me like fucking you know six thousand hours or more right mm -hmm. of playing time and now someone else just has that with like a hundred hours of play time this is bullshit like uh so what like, you know, yeah. you know that it took you fucking forever. You can even tell people it took you forever. Who cares if they don't believe you? It's fucking random people on the internet. Fuck them. Yeah. Do um, it for yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess if I were to play more MMOs, I'd have a more, uh, like, a more, like, opinionated opinion on it. Yeah. But, you yeah, know, I, 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 I think I can see the frustration in it. But I, at the same time, eh, it's just a game. Sure. It's let, just the game, man. Let me try and put it into terms that maybe, like, you, you could at, at least make an opinion on, right? All right. Like, let's say you're playing Pokemon, right? Mm -hmm. You like playing Pokemon. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, you know about the XP share? Uh, yes. The item? You know, so, F, the first Pokemon did not have that, right? Um, I, th I think... Silver was the first one. Oh, I think Yellow may have had it, but, okay, yeah, yellow. but whatever. Okay. But, um, for the sake of this, let's, let's say the first gen, like, red and blue, didn't mm -hmm. have it. Maybe it did, but for this conversation... We'll, we'll assume it didn't. Then silver came out, and then it for sure did, right? Mm -hmm. And the way it worked was you could give it to one of your Pokemon, and then that Pokemon would share XP with all of the ones that fought, right? Mm -hmm. And it would split evenly. Like, uh, So if one Pokemon fought, it would split 50-50. If two Pokemon fought, it would split one-third, 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 right? Gotcha. Okay, <clears throat> Um, I think. So, uh, hold on. Uh-oh. Fuck you. Oh, no. The bluey. Uh oh. I didn't like fine. That's fine. Um, all right. So, do you do you like the XP share? Uh, yeah, I do. Like when, when I uh, I, I use it from time. To, I would use it from time to time when it's appropriate. Yeah. And then in the newest games, I don't know about the new new ones, but like in, in X, and, X y. and Y. Yeah, there's an XP share that like you just turn on, and then it shares all of the XP with all of the Pokemon in the party, so they all level together. Yeah, like one if one, only one battles. If you get say five hundred XP, they all each they get, get five hundred XP. XP. Exactly, and um, like to me again, this is just the kind of player I am. All right, I think I have to hit him with uh, this shit. My nuts. Ah, okay. I think. Yeah, go. dude, nice. There we go. Right in the booty. Right in the booty. Or you can drop a bomb on him. But 
Uh, so for me, as a casual player, like, that's nice. Because then I don't have to spend tons of time grinding and getting all my Pokemon up to... Like, and that's just casual player, right? Uh-huh. But if someone else wanted to play without that, that's totally fine, too. You know what? It's funny. That, that reminds me. You remember the scene in that one episode where Ash gets Charmander? Yeah. Remember how Charmander had, like, a in douchey trainer? Yeah, in the show. Yeah. Remember where it's like... That's worry. ridiculous. Raising a Pokemon is the best part of having one. You wish. It's the most boring part. How dare you call yourself a Pokemon trainer. That's like saying, raising a Pokemon and not using the EXP is the main way to use it. Yeah, but I don't want to have to grind so much. It's That takes forever. How dare you call yourself a Pokemon trainer. You don't want to spend 50 hours grinding? You're pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, people who think like that, uh, kindly go, uh... Uh, Exit my butthole. And have a nice day. I don't know how to get up there. I think I need the boomerang or the long shot. Huh. Skull oh, 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 oh yeah. wait, no. Yeah, yeah, I think I just... You can come this. back in yeah. here as a adult link? Yeah, you can, but... Oh, okay. Fine. Okay, so after I deal with this shit, I'm going to go back through here, and then I think maybe I can get up if the staircase is up. But, anyways, yeah, so that's basically the whole... Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's why, that's why I didn't want to use the DQ shield. That's Damn why it. I switched it off earlier. Oh, okay. Well. Um, yeah, dude, that's basically the RuneScape 3 versus old school RuneScape. You need to grind and put work into it. It's like, pff, it's I don't like, care. I'm sorry. I I don't have time for that shit. Yeah, it, it's just some people, yeah, like younger people who don't have jobs or whatever, who yeah. have way more time. Or old people who don't have jobs. I, I'd rather just not, I don't know. I think, I remember just playing the old Pokemon games and that grinding, like, it could be fun, but after a while, it's like, okay, I walk around in the bush, fight a Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. Walk around in the bushes again, fight a Pokemon, blah, yeah. blah, blah. It's like, in X and Y, it's like, ah, oh, so I'm actually doing things that matter now. It's yeah. not just repetitive. Because RPGs, they're repetitive. Yeah. You know, and totally. that's totally fine. But it, eventually, it gets to a point where it's like, eh, okay, I'd like to move on now. And yeah. for if somebody else were to, like, you know, look down yeah. on someone else for having that mindset, I don't think that's fair. No. You know, freedom however you want to play, man. Exactly. There's no one way. Exactly. So, yeah. So, the whole point of this episode was if you play OSRS, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself.